first thing first, turn your car on, unlock your thing, pull it back all the way, and then set her up a little past 90 degrees. Turn the car off. All right, now this is with a four millimeter Allen key. You're gonna want this pretty much right up against this. There's gonna be three sets of holes. There's gonna be a small one here, a bit, or probably about right here, a medium sized one here. This is the one you want and another one over here. So right up against here and you want to try and go in as flat as possible. It's gonna try and make you wanna go down. You're gonna have to pry this up to go in straight. Otherwise you're gonna miss the little um, clip. So we'll get it in here. That's it pretty much like it's in. Let's see how it wants to go down at an angle. You don't you don't want that. So we're gonna start it. Difficult to do with one hand. But look, this is the four millimeter. This is where it's sitting. Right now it's literally sitting on the spring. Well, it was. In. Alright, try and do this with one hand. Ready? We're just gonna lift up on it. You'll see this thing. See how it just fell? That easy. Take it out, go 180, and do it again. Okay, got the camera set up again. You said 90 degrees. Try and follow this. I said there's multiple <laughs> LOL, holes to go in. This one should be it. Yep. See how it sits, just like that. Just gonna pull down a little bit. Now we're off. Now you can see this steering wheel does not have that ground where the ground's supposed to go. I just have the wiring sitting here. This is where that black box is supposed to go. Sorry about the flare. So this other one, you gotta take this stuff off. Anyway, you just unplug this stuff like normal. Get your M12 triple square. Take the steering wheel right off. And again, here you guys can see where you're going through and getting that Allen key to push these in to unlock. You slide your little connector out of here. This is what it looks like. It's a pain in the butt. See that little empty spot right there in the middle? You gotta push down on that and then this pops out. It looks like it comes apart at a different spot, but it doesn't. It's just a really small male end that goes in there. I thought it pulled apart right here where the size changes. But it doesn't pull the part down here. So keep that in mind. Got my M12 out. Boom.